child welcome back to another tea time tuesday is that what it's called yes honey y'all heard that i ran it the first time i said it right yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. just so you know i'm sipping sipping from my glass yes all right guys so yeah i got my little phoenix here don't act like you ain't one of them dumb dumb mamas that got y'all bad behind churn they gotta follow y'all everywhere you go you in the bathroom they they outside the bathroom door hollering mama banging on the door won't let you pee or nothing just right there so yeah he done he done cropped up his little leg and he want the tea too anyway so it looked like the saga continues another big time prototype artist post on her instagram the other day and i hope that i can be able to slide in a clip just to show um what i'm talking about she said y'all done messed up the thing <laughs> she better say she put up an auction say y'all churned on ran in there ran her auction up and then the last minute y'all pull out <laughs> pull out like you did never mind um y'all done put y'all done pulled out and left her with with 19 dollars and 50 cents well she from another country so it wasn't quite 19 dollars and 50 cents but y'all get what i'm saying she said she ain't getting nothing but pizza money. Well, that ain't what she said, but that's what I said. Child, listen. The point is, y'all done messed up the thing. Y'all screaming and hollering, talking about y'all don't like silent auctions, but y'all don't like them loud either. Y'all look like y'all look confused to me. Y'all y'all don't y'all don't like when they put it out in the open. You mess that up. Then when they go silent, y'all like, oh, we want to see what people bidding. Well, guess what, boo? Y'all better make up your mind real quick because it look like the whole buying process about to go underground. We ain't gonna know what the hell going on after a while. <clears throat> yeah, we ain't gonna even know what we paying. They're gonna just start pressing buttons and drawing out our accounts. And in other news, another big time artist that have like a little similar line. It's the first time I actually seen this, which is pretty cool. Sis got so big, she started calling in her auntie, cousins, friends, brothers, and everybody like, you paint the eyebrows, you paint the nose, I'm gonna paint the ears. Anyway. She been doing big things for a while. She posted a big post on her page. Said, I'm doing doing. I said, what's she done with? I know she ain't quitting because I know sis getting the bag over there. No, she said she done with custom. She done with y'all. She done y'all trying to boss her around, telling her to do things that she don't want to do and then be mad when it don't come out right. Mm. But that ain't exactly what she said, but she did say she was done. She wasn't doing customs no more, and that she was going to be switching up some things. I said, well, Lord. Mm. But don't worry, y'all. Don't worry. So many people not doing customs, but there's still artists out here that's going to do customs because, from what I understand, it is a sure way to secure the bag. Like, you ain't got to chase behind nobody to buy it when it's done because it already have a buy it. Unless they back out. Um, and then you stuck holding the bag. But that ain't my business. I, that's not the point. The point of the story is that there's still going to be customs. People still going to do customs. And, you know, like I say, for some artists, that's the way they, they, they get their monthly installments in. Or bi-monthly or bi-weekly or bi-daily. And that's how they pay their bills. So they're going to keep doing customs. But, uh. Yeah, I'm with sis over there. I'm kind of done too. Um, mm, and then other news, we got randoms around here selling my dog. Listen, y'all better be careful out here in these streets. When I tell you, people out here putting in, I look in the. Somebody tagged me in a um forum. Somebody asked, "What dogs y'all got for sale?" They not throw my collar ass up in there and talking about some DM me for the price. How you gonna? You ain't even DM me for the baby. The baby over here says who you is. I don't even, I don't even know you. I was like, OMG. This what we doing now? Like, baby, I'm talking about just I'm posting my baby up for sale. You ain't even got it. <sighs> they was like, well, maybe we, you know, the safety pictures ain't good. Maybe you can make them do a live video. First of all, people is not going to go live for you. First of all, I, I know I ain't, and I legit sell, but I am not finna do no lie. Listen, honey, y'all just better stop buying for people y'all don't know. Mm. It's hard out here. 
All that here in this grease. Let me flip the page on y'all because these listen. I'm trying to keep up with the notes, honey, because child of churn. I got pregnancy brain and my brain just whoo. so in a good in good news. <laughs> In case y'all wondering what's on my target and my radar for now, I am looking at Jude by over our oh, girl. She did that. Got my whole over swole. Listen, all both of them. Three of them. How many overs I got? I don't know, but I got all how many of them in there? Four, five, six. The way I keep popping out babies, it's gotta be at least ten of them in there. They all of them swole. That baby is so cruel. It's so cruel. Now now that I've been pressured into be a kid junkie, a silicone kid junkie, I've been out here in these streets searching and scrounging and trying to find where the best deal for the best buy for my money and all that good stuff. Now, here's the tea. McPherson, as you guys know, sell blank silicone kits now as well as all your reborn products. Girl, what? This is not a commercial for them. I don't even like them like that. <laughs> I'm just playing. But I do buy most of my products from them. But they do have... All you know, everything you need, supplies and all that, and now they sell the blank kids without the politics. Girl, you could be a fat, pregnant, bald headed behind woman like me with hardly no edges and still just go in there and buy a kit as long as your money spend, you can get the kit. Whereas then somebody else might be like, Oh, I don't like her. Last time I saw her, her breast thing, I ain't selling to her. Oh, she friends with so and so, I ain't selling to her. Oh, this that uh, you ain't gotta worry about that, boo. Just go in there. Put in your order, put in your little card number or your PayPal or whatever, and boom, you got your kit. Now, what I did find also that the market is getting so competitive because child, the church is hungry. <laughs> yes, God. We are hungry out here in these streets. People are trying to compete with price and different things, baby. Look, they're like, I got a tongue that flap. I got a tongue that stick to the roof of the mouth. Baby, listen, they they doing the mostest for the lessest. Some of them is coming in. I well, cut a head might cost you three hundred dollars at Matt Fierce, and I went over there to Sus, okay, Jennifer Sussman Prize, and I got me a little a little cut a head for one hundred and fifty dollars. Boo, half the price, baby. Now I ain't never had one of a Matt Fierce and cut a head, so I can't tell you whether you know the quality is about the same or not. I can't judge on that. But all I can tell you is the little baby face is cute. I ain't got to it yet, but I'm gonna get to it and paint it. The silicone look okay for now. We'll see, Sus. But um. I've been, and that, that ain't no commercial. I ain't co-signing or endorsing nobody on this team. Okay, but me. I can only endorse me. Okay, but what I'm saying is I have found some kits that might start out low. The only problem that I'm running into now is that sometimes the kids start out low if you just want the bases, you good. But when you start wanting armatures, you know, you want the mouth open, you want eyes in the baby, all that stuff. They be like $50 for the eye, $150 for the armatures, you know, another $50 for the mouth to be open. Like all this stuff that normally come with some of the premium kits, basic, you're going to pay for it. They they got a nickel and dime you to death. And then you kind of, the price kind of rise up to get closer to the premium price, but they still coming underneath sometimes. The only problem that I'm struggling with, and y'all know I'm a struggle bus girl. Y'all know I come from Scrubber City. Listen, I just want to find one that I'm okay with once you take off the fancy clothes and, you know, scrub away the photography. Then that's the ones that I'm looking for. And I found a few. Don't get me wrong, sis. I found a few. So... It, it, it's out there to be found. So, all this talking about, I just can't find this, I can't find that. Baby, if you stop, what grandma used to say? You got you got champagne taste with a bill wallet. If you stop doing all that, baby, let me go. Child, I got thirsty. If you stop doing all that, you will find you a baby that's affordable within your price range. Problem is you always looking at Sus house over there next door talking about I sure want a spiral stairwell. Baby, you gotta first get a house to get a stairwell. So listen, do what you do. Either you're gonna save, uh, do what you gotta do to get the, the, the premium, or you're gonna start looking in your budget. And that's how you're gonna find something. Now I ain't saying just jump on anything because it's cheap. You got to really look through these things, baby, because sometimes 
you think you got you a diamond, and baby, it's a whole cubic scocoma here. Or what you call that thing? A cubic lagonia. What it's called, child? Y'all know what I'm talking about. But, um, but it's some nice ones out here. It's a lot of varieties, and it's getting, it's gonna keep going because, honey, child, let me tell you, baby. Everybody, listen, like I told y'all last, last Tuesday, everybody painting, everybody making kits now. And everybody, if you ain't painting and you ain't making kids, you teaching them how to paint, child. Listen, honey, baby, y'all, all y'all gonna have a whole bunch of twin cousins out here. But I ain't the one to gossip and you ain't heard that from me. Now, y'all know, before I go, I'm gonna have to give y'all some of my little tea because y'all know I try to leave my Lola's. Mm -hmm. It's always the Lola's for me. I try to leave my Lola's with a little bit of my own tea. Now, just for y'all that know, they've been asking me. Of course, I got a lot of stuff going on in the background in this room. It's going to be revealed. But at this time, the only tea I can give y'all is that Cotabelle has a new model.